Tech fans, all right, I'm always glad to see you guys. Why? Well, because we're Tech of Tomorrow and we're all about tech, and without you, well, there'd be no tech or low tech. I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm Eric, the host, and today we're going to talk about our news articles. Now, first off, you guys all know Tom's Hardware. They have gone and broke the dam and linked all the stuff about Haswell. You guys all know about Haswell. It's the next generation coming out from Intel Corporation. It's their next generation CPU, you know. Um, it's supposed to be faster, stronger, better, all this type of stuff. But, you know, I think a lot of people, though, kind of fail to understand sometimes what Intel's mission is. Like, I don't even think that Intel themselves is trying to make everything super duper faster or super duper performing. What they're more interested in is power consumption and heat. Intel's really right now working on their stuff to make sure that it can take a lot less power, which, you know, obviously know why that is. Let's see if anybody guesses. Uh, mobile technology. Mobile technology requires low voltage, low power consumption so that it can be taken around without, you know, obviously running out of power. And that's really the direction that Intel is working on right now, because, you know, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, uh, all right, even Apple, <laughs> okay, you know, all have their own technology that's mobile, except for Intel. Intel has been the king of the fracking ring of the CPU forever. But in mobile, Intel's just really not there. So Haswell's been leaked. You guys can see there'll be a lot of stuff coming out, but basically, supposedly, 7% faster. That's what's going on right now. That's the basic stuff. Next up. You guys all know that Samsung's latest entry into the phone foray is about to get released. That's right. The new Galaxy S4 is coming out, baby. And for all you people out there right now, if you've ever been looking for a chance and you want to sock Apple in the eye, kick them in the balls, you know, bitch slap them, whatever it is you want to do, well, now's your time to do it because we've seen and proven that the new S4 is faster, actually by at least twice as much as the i5 phone by the Apple folks. That's right. So that's pretty cool. Also, like always, once again, we're going to have a full article on that over on our website as well, which will show all of the scores and a full article written by Robert Gonzalez, our in-house guy who's working with the camera and film stuff. He's our new guy. So he's on there. Last but not least, another story regarding phones. Dun, 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 dun. The Nexus 5. Woo! So, 5. For one thing, five inch screen, right? Nexus 5, you get a five inch screen, 1080p. That's right. Now, there's all kinds of other stuff that's coming out about this phone. Now, one thing you guys always know traditionally, Nexus phones suck ass in two areas. I'm sorry, if you're a Nexus fan, you'll probably agree with me and go, hell yeah. So it's battery life and shitty camera. So, two things are going to be happening you're going to get a much bigger battery and you're gonna get a camera made by Nikon. That's right, so with this phone, you're gonna get a lot of cool stuff, including a much improved camera, cool screen. Probably a lot of the other features are gonna be just like all the other phones that come out. You know, they all come out, they kind of equal each other out, then they jump ahead by one, they jump again, they jump again. Kind of just like Nvidia, you know, does with AMD in the video phone department. Same type of shiznik, just on the phone. So, those are all the news stories. That's what's happening, folks. Like usual, in the link in the description below are links to all of these reviews and scores and all the other stuff. So, if you guys wanna get more in depth information, I know a lot of people go, we don't like to read, but please, we appreciate it when you read. We really do. Plus, it's good for you. It makes your mind think you interact with the world. So, anyways, hope you guys like this video. If so, hit that like button and show me that you love me. Or at least show me that you know you like the video. But that's good enough for me. With that said, I'll see you guys later. If you're not subbed, hey, hit that little sub button. You can see that up in the corner right there. And we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow.